Hello, welcome to a new episode. Uh, in the last episode, we've seen how we can uh, basically create an FLTK project using CMake uh, and Visual Studio. Uh, I've, sh I've shown you how to basically generate a Visual Studio project using uh, CMake. Uh, the other thing is that since uh, my, uh, Visual Studio 2017, you can actually open any CMake project directly without having uh, to ask CMake to generate a uh, Visual Studio project. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, this is an old style uh, C callback. Uh, it would be nice to be able to use uh, lambdas here instead of having to uh, basically declare or define another function and basically uh, cast uh, the uh, whatever is being passed as the data pointer. So uh, we'll use a uh, lambda here. We, we have to include the functional first to get the function. And we can also alias uh, this to be using callback equals to function void. Now let's call this, for example, uh, my callback. And here we can basically pass a lambda. So just new callback. And here we're going to use a lambda. So basically, we'll take this. Just this basically. Uh, and we need to pass the uh, window uh, by value since it's a pointer. And here basically uh, we're telling uh, FLTK to treat the uh, data here. We want to tell it to treat the data here as a std function. So Let's call it uh, font equals, and this will be a pointer since we're basically instantiating new. Uh, we're using new here since uh, these widgets can outlive any data that we pass it. So uh, basically, uh, for window and button, for example, uh, it's not a problem since these are uh, allocated using new. But for any stack, uh, allocated uh, memory, the widget will outlive the, uh, the memory itself. And then we just call the callback or the function. We need to, <coughs> we need to be reference it first, so So this works. And if you need to basically uh, clean up here, usually uh, if this is a long running application and uh, it ends by uh, closing the application, you don't need to provide cleanup, but if you wanted to uh, clean up, so we can actually provide the cleanup here. We can get back the user data. So uh, let us uh, Create another function here, void cleanup. This takes a void star. <coughs> Basically, we'll just take this here and then delete. So we can get back the data using the user data method call. And this basically cleans up when we break the event loop or we close the application.
So that was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.